Fellas, this is what we have to understand when it comes to a woman. Number one, they are like mirrors to us. They reflect who we are. Number two, they match our energy. Number three, women are like water. They don't have a true set form. They are fluid beings. Number four, they are our counterparts. So everything we aren't is everything they are. Number five, the woman that loves you the most will test you the most also because they are the ones that can identify what your weak points are and ultimately will be the ones to help you become stronger. Oh, let's talk about it. Yes, sir. Let me tell y'all first, let me say, if you have that type of mentality, you know, if that's the level that you're on, my inbox is open. Just letting y'all know. But anyway, I digress. I kid, but I don't. Y'all, I definitely agree with the points that he made. Ladies, y'all let me know down in the comments below what you think because I really do believe that we are mirrors of the man that we're with. We are very fluid like water, you know, because we are a reflection of them. So that's why when I first start talking to somebody or trying to embark on something with somebody and they get to talking about the previous relationships that they were in, I really do listen because that is valuable information. We have to ask those questions and we have to hear those stories because it is valuable information. And I know that a lot of men, they're out to deceive. They really are. And I tread lightly on even saying this because, you know, somebody might use this against you, sis. You know, you got to get that sense of discernment up because, yeah, they definitely will try to manipulate you knowing this information. But when they talk about the people that are in their past, you have to listen to what they're saying, how they're saying it. If Is there blame placing like what they're really saying? You know, they think we're listening to try to see what that girl did wrong so we can, you know... And do the opposite or so we can be like oh yeah she was this she was that no we're listening for you or we should be listening for you to hear about you because really she's a reflection of you whatever happened in that relationship was a reflection of you so yeah anyways the last point that he made i heard a lot of men talk about how women you know they nag or oh, well they say we want to uh, they want to talk run you know that's a boy's mentality not a man's mentality because why is it that you don't want to talk to your woman this is the woman that you chose to be with you didn't think that she had intelligence you didn't think that she had the ability to bring you up <laughs> like what because when a woman wants to talk to you it's about something to better you it's something to better y'all's relationship like it's not going to be something to bring you down degrade you so what is the problem what are you running from that's the real question you need to be asking yourself because yeah like we don't just talk just to hear ourselves talk we don't just talk just because we want to talk like we're bringing up stuff that we feel like could really benefit you could benefit us especially if we keep repeating ourselves and eventually a woman's going to get tired of repeating herself if there's no action like no changes no something behind it but y'all leave the comments down below and let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next video